BNB, the token of Binance chain, is up by more than 100% in the last day. It is reaching an all-time high and it's absolutely booming. Let's find out why this is happening. Welcome to the Crypto Corner video podcast, everyone, your crypto radar for the latest news, reviews and tutorials that help you master the cryptocurrency market. Now, let's talk about BNB, the token of Binance chain. Most people know Binance as just an exchange. Well, the most popular one, of course, but uh, the truth is Binance has grown to be much more than just an exchange. It's a complete ecosystem of a great deal of services and applications that stretch way beyond the exchange. They launched their own blockchain back in 2019 when they moved their BNB token from being an Ethereum based token to their native chain and the purpose was to enable smart contracts in a similar fashion to Ethereum ultimately becoming a competitor to the second largest blockchain network. Then uh, they developed the Binance Smart Chain to enable users to build and create decentralized applications and enter the world of DeFi. The Binance Smart Chain started back in September last year and one of its many uses is for cross-chain transfers which are made possible because of its interoperability. With that, users are now able to stake BNB and earn passive income from it. Anyone can stake it to become a validator on this new blockchain. With the introduction of the proof of staked authority consensus mechanism, Binance Smart Chain creates an ecosystem where validators, token holders, developers and users all benefit from a rewarding blockchain that offers high performance and a vast space for further innovations. So, the Binance Chain and Smart Chain community welcomes all kind of dub developers and projects to try this new arena and we see more and more projects being built on that new blockchain. Cheap transaction fees that can be as low as one cent also adds to the appeal of Binance Smart Chain, especially now that the Ethereum fees have gone through the roof, reached an all-time high, and even the smallest transactions are recurring around uh, 20 to $30 fees. So Ethereum-based tokens uh, are now with a great disadvantage because of these high fees, and this could change with time, of course, but in this particular moment, many users are looking for alternatives and this enables Binance Smart Chain to grow at a much faster speed. There's also a great deal of Ethereum-based super projects that are collaborating with Binance Smart Chain like Chainlink, Band Protocol and other infrastructure tools like Trust Wallet and uh, also some of the top DeFi projects like Swipe, Aave, One Inch Dex, Wazir X and uh, Cream. Also, uh, Pancake, another new project, is uh, one that is in the news right now due to a smashing performance. Uh, in this article from yesterday, the Cointelegraph reported that PancakeSwap became the first billion dollar project on Binance Smart Chain. They call it the rising star in the decentralized finance sector. And the data from the Coin Telegraph markets and trading view shows that the price of cake, the token of pancake, has risen 520% to reach $11 on February the 17th, so just a couple of days ago, which propelled its market cap above the $1 billion for the first time. And while the majority of the top DeFi projects are still operating on the Ethereum network, protocols that are based on other networks, such as the Binance Smart Chain, are beginning to see an increase in active users seeking respite from the high transaction costs and delayed confirmation times of Ethereum. Such increase in the utility and user adoption of Binance Smart Chain based tokens brings more utility to the BNB token itself and this is reflected in its price. The BNB token has jumped by 500% pretty much in the last month. It was uh, it now it's going through a correction so it was over 500% just an hour ago. Um, 100% in the last day and uh, it's now uh, displacing the other tokens from the third spot in the market by market cap it is the third biggest by market cap with 39 almost 40 billion dollars market cap and uh, Polkadot was previously on that spot before that ADA was also on that spot they are now lagging behind a USD tether of course I don't usually count this because it is a pseudo cryptocurrency uh, it is pegged to the dollar and it's being printed in um, 
endless quantities so that's not really a token that i really uh, care about in terms of a market cap uh, polka dot was uh, on the third spot uh, just a few days ago and um, before that ada they kind of flip actually ada was uh, number fifth just uh, an hour ago and polka dot was below ada now they flipped so um this is currently what's happening now we are going to look at the chart of bnp but first a quick message from our sponsors this episode of Crypto Corner is sponsored by Cobalt Lend, a new DeFi project that brings crypto lending and borrowing to people and small businesses to make the most of your crypto holdings. It's a great way to earn passive income on your crypto via staking rewards or earn interest via their lending incentives. Cobalt Lend was launched last year and has now partnered with Nouse and is using their SEO platform in order to build a more sophisticated lending protocol. We've been covering their progress on this channel since their pre-launch and they have achieved a lot in a short space of time. Their token is supported by Uniswap, OneInch and Mooniswap DEXs. They recently added a hot wallet with a CoinSwap engine for swaps between Bitcoin and various Ethereum assets. You can also buy Bitcoin with a credit card and for transactions under $300, you don't have to do KYC. They are in beta development of their Cobalt Atomic Swap, which is a completely separate swapping engine strictly for Ethereum assets, powered by their partners at Total. They added an insurance fund to protect their users' tokens and later this year, they're launching a debit card for instant withdrawals with cashback rewards. Making a passive income with Cobalt Land is easy. There are two types of staking they currently offer. You can stake their native CBOT token on their platform and get paid 5% monthly, just like a savings account. Or you can use the proof of credit mining method via the partner NAUS. This way you can stake NAUS tokens and earn their new NCBOT token that will be the primary driving force of the lending platform they are building. The team of Cobalt Land incentivize stakers by paying them additional rewards for staking with them on the NAUS platform by giving out monthly airdrops of their CBOT tokens and even just for registering their NAUS wallet on their platform, where the user can stake NAUS tokens without giving away ownership of their tokens. For more details, go to CobaltLand.com and register for free. You can also find the link in the description below. Okay, so what are we seeing on the chart of BNB? Well, um, currently this is the weekly chart. I'm starting with the bigger time frames. We see that uh, RSI extremely overbought. Uh, we are going parabolic. We've been parabolic for the last three weeks. And uh, we see that the volume has just dropped. So the volume was going up all the way until last week. This week we are seeing a slightly smaller volume, which, which is the first sign of a correction coming. So uh, reducing volume and uh, price still going up uh, all overbought extreme overbought region on the rsi are pointing towards a correction uh, also on the daily we see that uh, pretty much the same picture overbought rsi market is also also up there um, volume is slightly decreasing uh, from a few days ago when we did see this pump actually was when we see when we saw the biggest the highest volume and since then the volume has reduced on the smaller time frames we actually see that on the four hour we already started the correction we hit an all-time high of 282 per token dollars of course per token and uh, now we are correcting we will see if this correction will take us much lower or whether it will just be a small dip and it will be bought quickly but uh, i'm actually seeing that uh, uh, we did have quite a spike in the volume on the four hour chart uh, during this pump and uh, and now that we are starting to correct we are seeing a very a very small selling volume this is a good sign but uh, however we are still in the overbought region heavily overbought region on the four hour as well so a, a deeper correction will not surprise me at all and um and we are forming now on the one hour we actually form starting to form a triangle here and uh, this is not bad i mean at this point it is uh, too early to judge it and to say whether we're going to be uh, going for another pump yet uh, because i mean typically we should be able to break out on the upside from this triangle but it is too early so i wouldn't really go and uh, judge that let me just see a smaller time frame if we look at the 30 minutes what's that going to show us 
yeah not much really okay so if we break below this this is really an undecided uh, position here so we can break either way we can go break up or we can break down either way will work and uh, if we break down we have the first support here uh, at around 237 uh, we also have let me just see where have we established support we have established a minor support around this level here which is 225 and uh, the lower support is around this region here 188 so if we break down from this triangle we can easily go down and test the 200 and 180 190 support levels and uh, if we break on the upside we are in uncharted territory we can go anywhere we could actually pump by uh, let's see what is possible here we can act if we take this here and I'm doing this really rough uh, so okay this is a very rough of course uh, charting from from my part because I'm doing it as we speak and I haven't really spent much time to do it but if we break above here we could actually go to 319. Uh, I feel that the 300 is a psychological resistance that will probably be met with uh, a lot of selling pressure so it's possible that we will be stopped up there but um, it looks like we are ch channeling right now the 300 price range and we are, are trying to get there and uh, it's a matter of time to see whether we will succeed or whether we will get rejected and if we get rejected we are going down towards as I said the 200 and then if we if we don't hold the 200 180 is a stronger support so this is what I'm currently seeing for BNB uh, it is possible that uh, we continue the pump even though quite frankly uh, 484 percent in the last month almost 500 percent it's a little unsustainable so it would make sense that we go through a proper correction right now which would be at least uh, 15 20 percent maybe even 30 percent correction that would make perfect sense i'm not saying that it will happen i'm not spreading fud uh, so do not uh, count on this and as as you know this is not a financial advice this is not a investment of financial advice this is my personal opinion this is what i'm personally seeing here and i'm just giving you a perspective Perspective. this is what could happen okay uh, with that said uh, this is everything from me for today's video I don't want to make it too long uh, this is just a quick video to basically give you my perspective on BNB token right now and uh, and the reasons behind this pump that we are seeing there is more utility coming into this space for BNB and uh, and they keep building more and more projects which is great also uh, just a few days ago I reported about yet another initiative by Binance which is to do with allowing merchants to start accepting crypto and uh, you know allowing them to basically use stable coins rather than cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies being too volatile are not really appealing to merchants so um, this is yet another innovation that is uh, pushing more usability of the BNB token so uh, we are seeing great development coming from Binance right now and uh, a, a lot of users are flocking into this space and uh, and I'm not going to be surprised if BNB actually reaches the 300 price range which is is remarkable because I, I remember buying Binance uh, BNB token at $8 in 2000 and was it 18 probably something like that so um, for those of you who have been buying it since then and have been holding it this is great news uh, I mean you should probably look into taking some profits at some point so monitor the the prices closely and if you see a correction a deeper correction starting maybe you want to lock in some profits so We'll see how it goes. I will keep it on my radar and I will keep you informed about uh, future developments. This is everything from me. Uh, thank you for staying until the end of the video. And uh, also, if you liked it, give me the thumbs up. I hope it brought you value. And if you have any questions, also leave them in the comments below and, um, and share this with someone else who would also benefit from watching it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe if you're new to this channel and the notification bell so that you are notified when I'm posting a new video. This is how you will be supporting this channel and I appreciate it because YouTube is actually gatekeeping a lot of this crypto content and uh, you wouldn't actually see it unless you are subscribed 
subscribed and you hit the notification bell and also don't forget to check out the links in the description box where you will find the links to all of the top crypto services including the top exchanges and the top hardware wallets that i'm personally using i have reviewed all of these wallets and i'm using four of them and they're all linked in the description also some other services like my top charging tools and other great services that if you're in crypto you should be using so make sure that you go through the links this is everything from me i'm signing off and i'm gonna see you tomorrow with another episode of crypto corner